Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are doing great because it is a fabulous day. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about why it's so important to declutter. So if you wanna know more about this, just stay have a piece of furniture in the hallway which is really perfect for a hallway because it's very narrow and it has three drawers. This is one of the drawers. See? Look at how narrow it is. I mean, I maybe six inches. And it's also very tall. So I use that for putting uh, in one drawer my makeup, in another drawer my creams, and in another drawer I put anything that is hair related. And I said, you know, I should take at least one drawer and look through it and start decluttering. So as I started doing that, <laughs> I came across these two rocks. <laughs> these rocks are so important to me. This one has a flower and this one is like a ladybug, but no head and nothing else, just that. The reasons why these are so important for me is because I must have done these when I was maybe, maybe seven. Yeah, and there's my initials in the back, MZ, you can barely see them. Right here, MZ. <laughs> And I still draw flowers exactly like that. <laughs> but it's so important for me. These memories are so special. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I just love these rocks. And I remember one time I was talking about it in one of my videos. And I said, I don't know where my rocks are, my stones. I'm so sad because I've kept them for so many years. So now I have them. And now I'm going to show you uh, or tell you why it's important to declutter. These rocks have sentimental value. They're stones. They have a lot of sentimental value because it was something I did when I was a child. Um, like I said, I well, I don't know if you remember, but I said one time that I don't have too many pictures of when I was a child because a lot of those albums got lost. So... Um, I don't have that many like dolls or things like that from when I was a child. So I'm very happy that I have those rocks because it's a memory of when I was young. But at the same time, you don't want to hold on to everything. I don't want to hold on to all of my toys I do have from when I was young. I don't have any of them actually. I think I have one doll from when I was young. So I have these two little stones. I have one little perfume from Avon that I've kept all this time, but I don't keep a lot of things. And as I go through this drawer, I realize why it's important not to keep a lot of things. Number one, because you forget what you got. And then you got 10,000 of the same that you don't need. <laughs> so I'm going through this and I'm looking at this. Okay, this is an extension to a curling iron that I don't have. So why do I need this? I don't have it. I don't need it. I'm going to dump it. Tossing that. I am tossing that. Okay. These I thought were really cool when I first bought them because I said, great, I have all of these rubber bands for my hair. Okay. I'm not really using them. It's true that they're really good because they don't pull on your hair for some reason. They don't get caught on your hair. But I just don't think it's really, I don't know, I don't like those little bright colors. They're a little too much. <laughs> I don't need this. I can toss it. I don't need it. And you know what? I can actually take this to school and maybe a girl might want them. A little girl, she might want them. So I can take that to school. I don't need it. And I have this, which is adorable. It is a hair clip. But as you can see, it's a little girl's. This is for a little girl. This is not for me. I cannot put this here like this. Can you imagine? Just like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Why do I have this? I don't need it. So again, I will put it in my box. 
see who wants it nobody wants it then it'll be donated or it'll go away here's another similar one why do I have these tiny little things that I can do this is I can't do anything with this <laughs> I don't know why I have it this one has been stretched out I don't need it and you know I have these rubber bands they fell out I have these all over this drawer they're all over this drawer all over so I don't need that either um do you remember when these things came out oh it's full of hair <laughs> do you remember when these things came out I don't know what they're called but basically you would put your hair forward like this and then you'd comb this over and then you'd have big hair yeah see how it came out well that's why I never used it <laughs> I bought I think about two of them I gave my mom one I she thought it was great she said what a cool invention this is so good oh yes give it to me she never used it either these are the things that you see on TV they announce it and you say wow yeah that's a great invention you get it and you never use it all right this I do need this I need this and I have never used it see it's in the carton because I've never been able to find it because I've had all these other things that I don't need in the drawer so now I use I can use that to section off my hair okay let's see what else look at all of these bobby pins if I told you when the last time that I used a bobby pin was I don't remember I don't remember when the last time I used a bobby pin but I'm gonna save these and get rid of the other ones that are used or you know loose down here for example this one is black I had black hair at one point a long time ago but this is an old bobby pin that I'm never gonna use because I don't have black hair anymore and again here's a tiny little barrette I don't need that I need to get rid of that and uh, let's see this one is no good it's too small it's like what I call rinky dink small and it doesn't grab that much hair and it's hard to put on it slips so if you have product in your hands and you're trying to put this to you know section your hair it'll slip this one's no good it slips and this one also slips too and it doesn't open easily but between this one and this one this one opens easier I'm gonna keep this one even though it's uglier and I'm gonna toss this one okay now I have a whole um little bucket if you wish whatever you want to call it of things that I will look through more carefully and there are tons of barrettes in here that I know I don't use that I will get rid of tons of them these I use really often I use these hair combs often but I'm not gonna go through it right now because I want to show you something else that I have okay. will I ever use this do you think I will ever use this <laughs> no I will never use this I will never use this never okay this is like like that I guess I don't know it's like this and then you put it like this and then you go like this I just won't use it it's it's, it's not I won't use it <laughs> I won't use it okay gone all right this one I've used this often um I used to really like using this to keep my hair back I haven't used it in many years but I really liked using this I'll go like that and it looked nice so I'm gonna keep it I haven't used it in a long time but then again you know I don't use it if I don't see it so when I clear this out I will use this more often I really like it and it's a way of keeping your hair back and not having to be a ponytail all the time because that's what it ends up being in a ponytail all the time and then I have these 
you know, to keep her back. But these are not really pretty. So why do I want them? I don't. So I'm getting rid of them. I've got a lot of these scrunchies that I bought. I do use them. They're multicolored. I have, you know what? Sometimes you think you're getting a bargain when you buy something that has like a hundred items in it, like a hundred pieces, like this. I think it had a hundred pieces, a hundred of these. But I don't think that way anymore. And I'll tell you why, because I always want to try something new. And it's kind of shameful to try something new and buy something else when you have a hundred of these laying around. At least for me, I feel a little guilty. Okay, this, I don't know why it's there. I'm tossing it. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. Do you remember this? My gosh. Do you remember the pony twister? What was it called? Topsy turvy? I don't know, but it's even in the bag. The pony twist. Look at that. Oh, do you remember this? Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use this. I'll keep this. I shall keep that. Do I have two of these? No, this is the same one. And um, another. Why do I have shaving things and hair things? See, that's why you need to be organized. This one is good. See, this is a good size. And it opens and it closes. And this is matches from when I used to smoke. I put this where my candles are. Here's another one of these. And I thought I didn't have any. And it turns out I did. I just needed to organize this stuff. You see why it's so important to do this? But wait a second, look what I found. Another one, the topsy tail. So that means I have two. I guess this is the original one. And this is a counterfeit. <laughs> I don't know, I don't need two. I will try them out, see which one works better and keep that one and get rid of the other one. Okay. <laughs> why is it important to declutter? Number one, it's important because then you see what you have and you don't buy duplicates. Number two, it's important because believe it or not, what you are keeping track of all of the things you have one way or another and they wear you down. They take up space in your mind of things that you're thinking about and things you're keeping track about. It's better to keep track of life and happiness than how many topsy-turvies you have. Okay. <laughs> Number three, you have more space because now you have gotten rid of things that you don't need and duplicates. You have more space, not to fill it up, but to enjoy. When you have more space, there's a sense of freedom. So you feel lighter and fresher. <laughs> Getting rid of clutter really helps you think better and it also reminds you that you don't need all of that stuff to be happy. You just need to be happy with one thing that's love. When you have love, you base everything you do from love, you are a happy person. So, I hope you are a happy person. I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe. But more important than all of that, I hope that you have a day filled with peace, love, and joy. Bye-bye.